Welcome to Elliptigo's online support videos. In this video, we will assemble the Inno hitch rack. This will apply for the single or the two bike Inno hitch rack. Okay, let's go ahead and get the box open. And then we're going to make sure that all of the parts are indeed in the box. For those of you with the two bike hitch rack, you should have a piece of foam your instructions, another set of instructions, and two straps. For those of you with the single tray, you should have uh, your instructions, but you will not have the foam or the two straps. So go ahead and make sure all of the parts are in there. And then let's go ahead and get started by opening up the boxes. We are now going to install the cross tube into your hitch receiver. First remove the safety pin and then with the smaller Allen wrench loosen the bolt on top of the cross tube receiver. This is a adjustable slide that's going to allow you to fix positioning for your rack into your receiver which is pretty cool. So go ahead and slide the cross tube into your receiver and you want to align the hole that the safety pin is going to go into. The safety pin goes through your receiver into the cross tube. So make sure you find the hole. I would do a visual check on this. Don't stick your finger in the hole. And then once you find the hole, go ahead and put the safety pin in. So there's the hole that we're gonna put the pin through. So slide the pin in. And then we're going to tighten the little bolt on top, the little slide on top of the cross tube. And this is so that when you take the rack on and off that vehicle, it's always going to be set into that position. So you won't have to search for that little hole anymore. Pretty clever. Now use the keys that came with your rack. So this is what allows you to uh, secure the rack to the car. So you're going to turn this clockwise, so righty tighty lefty loosey, turn it clockwise until it's nice and tight. You'll feel the wedge inside the cross tube secure against the hitch receiver of the vehicle. Do not put all of your weight into tightening this. You just need to tighten it so it's secure and then position the little knob so that the uh, knob can be locked into the end of the rack. Use the key to lock it. So now your rack is locked to your car. That's it. Pretty simple. Next, go ahead and fold the cross tube down, squeeze the handle and pull down. This also allows you to move the bikes away from the vehicle, but we're gonna go ahead and set it so that it's straight. Take one of the trays and a bag of the screws. There's six screws in one bag. Take one of the trays and note that they are left and right specific. So you wanna make sure that you put the correlating tray in terms of on the right of the car or left of the car. The silver button should face out. Do the same thing with the other side. Again, open the arm up. This just gives you better access for putting the bolts in. Slide onto the cross tube. And now we're going to install four of the screws and a metal plate. With the metal plate, flip it over, place it over the holes of each side of the arms, and then we're gonna secure those screws. It's got a uh, split washer and a flat washer. So the split washer's on first and the flat washer. And go ahead and tighten these down. Use the larger of the Allen wrenches that was included with the rack to tighten these bolts down. This applies for the single and the double. So whether you have the single tray or a double tray hitch rack, this application is how you put this together. There should be two other screws, a split ring and a flat washer. Put the split ring on first, then the flat washer. These screws, there's two of these, one each per tray. So there's gonna be a screw that goes on the bottom, so underneath the arm on each side. 
Again, you're going to use the larger Allen wrench that came with the rack to secure these. So make sure you do this on both. And then for those of you with the two bike hitch rack, you're going to do the same process with the other set of arms. Then take the little rubber covering and place it over the metal flange. To load the bikes, make sure the arms are all completely open. Press the silver button on the side of the ratchet and push each arm into the full open position. We are going to load the elliptical bicycle first and we're going to load it closest to the vehicle. We're going to move the tire adjuster by pushing it down and pulling out and then placing it in the lower position where there's one slot still showing. This will be for the front wheel of the elliptical bicycle. On the other side of the arm, push the tire lever down, pull it out, and seat it so that there are no hole positions showing. Then on that arm, count 10 clicks. Raise it 10 clicks. This will be for the rear wheel of the elliptical bicycle. Now we will go ahead and load the elliptical bicycle and make sure that you disengage the kickstand Lift the bike up and place onto the tray. Rear wheel should go into the arm that you preset with your 10 clicks. Once you have the bike in the tray, press the arm up over the front wheel, giving a good tight push. Now we will load the Elliptigo M sub on the furthest tray away from the vehicle. We will need to change the tire position of the wheel holders to the longest position. So push the tire lever down, pull it out, and place it at the end of the sleeve, making sure to engage the last slots on the arm. Then we will take the M sub or the R sub, and we will place into the tray, and we want to do reverse of the elliptical bicycle. So the handlebars of the M sub or R sub are gonna be facing the rear wheel of the elliptical bike and the rear wheel of the M sub R sub is facing towards the front wheel. In other words, they're opposite. Place the bike onto the tray and then lift the arm up over each tire. Give a good push. You've now loaded an elliptical bicycle and an M sub R sub. To load two M subs or two R subs, we will again make sure that the arms of the tray are open by pressing the silver button and extending the arms into the open position. And if your tire adjusters are already not set, we will push down, pull the tire adjuster out and place in the top part of the sleeve by engaging the last two slots of each side of the sleeve. So push the tire adjuster down and out, pull it out, and then reset it on the arm so that it's at the last position of the sleeve. Then you will take your M sub and you can mount this either direction, meaning the front wheel can be on the vehicle's right side or the vehicle's left side. I chose to put the front on the right side and then pull the arms up and over each wheel, give a good push to secure and then take the second M sub or R sub, and you're going to turn this so that it's opposite of what you just loaded. In my case, my rear wheel is now on the right and my front wheel is on the left as looking at the vehicle. I'll lift the arms up and over each of the tire and give a good push. To remove the bikes, press the silver button on the ratchet and push the tray away from the wheels. Lift the bike up and place on the ground and engage the kickstand. So again, to remove the bike, you will press the silver button on the ratchet arm, push the arm away from the tire, away from the wheel, lift the bike up and place on the ground. For any questions on the assembly of the Inno rack or placing a bike on the rack, please contact us at Elliptigo. If you are placing two elliptical bicycles onto your Inno rack, please watch our video on placing two elliptical bicycles on the Inno two bike hitch rack.